Okay, this is a short tutorial on how to get your first sounds out of the VCV uh, rack uh, synth. And here we go. Um, so the first thing you want to do is basically start a new file, which I've already done. Okay, um, and now I'm going to input a MIDI interface. Uh, this emulates um, basically MIDI into a control uh, voltage output. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is have a voltage control oscillator. There we go. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is have a attack, decay, sustain and release. There we go. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is have a voltage controlled amplitude. And the final link in the chain is we need a audio interface. There we go. Okay, um, and that's all we need basically to get our first synths out. And the way we go about that is, oh, just a minute, MIDI device. I'm gonna select my MIDI device here, which I know to be an Axiom 25. Um, we take a cable out here from the uh, voltage out um, and we put it in to there. Um, the next thing we're going to do is select a wave type out of our voltage controlled oscillator here um, and we are going to put it into um, th there I think. Yeah. Um, the next thing we need to do is take our gate out from here and pop it into there. Um, we're going to take an out from our ADSR and pop it into there. And the final link in the chain is we need to take our output here into our uh, audio output device. Um, you need to select your audio output device. There'll be a lot of selections on here probably. Um, I know which is mine, so sometimes um, it may, won't make a sound, so just fiddle with those a bit and hopefully, there we go, when I press a button, um, it's working. Um, and you can start to uh, fiddle with these buttons and switches as you like. Um, there we go, let's bring our attack right down, let's bring our release up. Yeah. So you can see how, let's change the wave type, wave type, triangle, there we go, sine wave. I like the square wave. There we go.